<clears throat> shalom, shalom, shalom. Back for another quick hit. And first and foremost, as always, before I get started, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, and double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, who teach and who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, regardless of whether people hear or forbear. All right, today, lesson is going to be entitled, Those Who Are Rebellious Mind is Because the Lord Wants to Destroy You. All right, because a lot of our people are rebellious, and the Lord has made them that way because he doesn't want to forgive them of their sins. All right, it's really, that's that's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power because it is everything that we think, everything that we do, it's all being controlled by the God of the Bible. All right. So if he wants you to, to do wickedly, then he's going to have that spirit on you to be wicked. If he wants you to be righteous, then he's going to have that spirit on you to be righteous. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring out some scriptures going into that. And uh, Lord willing, it's edifying to the elect. So let's go ahead and start right here with Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 1 in the New, in the New Living Translation. And it reads, this is what the Lord says. Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Could you build me a temple as good as that? Could you build me such a resting place? My hands have made both heaven and earth. They and everything in them are mine. I, the Lord, have spoken. I will bless those who, who have humble and contrite hearts, who tremble at my word. But those who choose their own ways, delighting in their detestable sins, will not have their offerings accepted. When such people sacrifice a bull, it is no more acceptable than a human sacrifice. When they sacrifice a lamb, it's as though they had sacrificed a dog. When they bring an offering of grain, they might as well offer the blood of a pig. When they burn frankincense, it's as if they had blessed an idol. <clears throat> all right, so our people are very rebellious, all right, just uh, disobedient for no reason. All right, matter of fact, let's get the definition of that word rebellious. So rebellious definition, it says, showing a desire to resist authority, control, or convention. All right. And that's what, our, that's what our people do, man. All right. The law, statute, the commandments are designed to govern the way that we do things, the way that we think. And the Lord assures, I believe it's uh, Wisdom of Solomon, it says that uh, taking heed to the laws is the assurance of incorruption. All right. But our people, they enjoy being in chaos, they enjoy disorder, all right? So because of that, the Lord is not accepting their sacrifices. <clears throat> Going back, Isaiah 66 and verse 4 in the New Living Translation, it says, I will send them great trouble, all the things they feared, for when I called, they did not answer. When I spoke, they did not listen. They deliberately sinned before my very eyes and choose to do what they do. It's like I choose to do what they know I despise. All right, so that's our people, man. That's two thirds of our people. They, they willfully choose to do the things that the Lord hates. All right, we tell them not to celebrate the customs of the heathens. They celebrate the customs of the heathens. We tell them that they can't eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. And that's exactly what they do. They eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, and they and and they do it. They do it on the days on on these uh false, these fake uh hell days. Okay. Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, stealing, all right? They know they ain't supposed to be celebrating those days. They know they ain't supposed to be eating abominable foods, and they purposely do it on those days just to add insult to injury, all right? So our people, that describes them perfectly. Go back to that definition. For rebellious, it says, showing a desire to resist authority, control, or convention, all right? So they resist the authority of the Heavenly Father, all right? They don't want to obey his law, statutes, and commandments. They don't want him to, quote, unquote, control their life. But then when it comes time to be delivered, all right, when those ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles start flying, then they're going to be calling on the Lord, all right? He's not going to hear them, all right? Let's read that in the KJV. I'm going to get uh, Isaiah 66, and just I'm going to just do verse 4 in the KJV, and it says, I will also choose their delusions, all right? 
<clears throat> so when you do wickedly, the Lord will literally put an evil spirit on you, have you bugged out. All right. We see that happen with a lot of people, a lot of reprobates. It says, I will also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. Okay. So, that once again, it describes our people, man. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 6. All right, Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 9, and it reads, And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see you indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. All right, so the Lord doesn't want to heal, he doesn't want to heal these people. Because of their own, because of their wickedness, all right. They, you know, they they cho they chose not the ways of the Lord. Uh, you can read about that Proverbs chapter one. Let's go to Mark chapter four. We're gonna get the same thing. Mark chapter four, and verse um. I started verse twelve. It says, I started eleven, and he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of Yahweh. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. All right, so the Lord purposely spoke in parables, and the prophecies are written in the mystery, so that the undesirables, all right, those who the Lord doesn't want to be saved, are not going to get it, and they're not going to be saved. They're going to be destroyed. Right. <clears throat> so it's a gift if you do understand the prophecies all right and the lord put the spirit on you to repent okay turn back to you how about me on shy because we all have fallen short all right if he put that spirit on you that's a true blessing but you know a lot of our people are rebellious man so the lord he's, he's got them marked set for destruction all right so he's put that rebellious spirit on them so they wouldn't understand the truth remember he said i'm going to choose your delusions Let's go to Isaiah chapter 8. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse, uh, let's see, verse 13, it reads, Sanctify the Lord of hosts himself, let him be your fear, and let him be your dread, and he shall be for a sanctuary. All right, a sanctuary is a place of safety. Okay, so he's a sanctuary for the elect, but for a stone of stumbling and for a rock of offense to both the houses of Israel for a gin and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And many of the, many of among them shall be stumble and fall and be broken and be snared and be taken. All right, so the Lord, his words are a sanctuary for the elect, but for the, for the wicked of our people. All right, they're a stumbling block, rock of offense. All right, they're a trap, gin and a snare. <clears throat> it says, and many among them shall stumble and fall and be broken and be snared and be taken. Verse 18, it's so like 16, it says, Bind up the testimony, seal the law among my disciples. All right, so only the true disciples of Yahweh, Bashmi Shai, will have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Okay, and the rest, he has sent them a strong delusion because he has a vendetta against me, wants to destroy them. All right, you know, they have been wicked in their past lives. If you read the accounts of the children of Israel, all right, they were continuously wicked and continuously rebellious against the Lord. So now, in this life, those same people are now the two-thirds of today. All right, the Lord got a vendetta against them. He doesn't want them to get the truth, okay, because he, he, he has a desire to destroy them. Let's go to uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. All right, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. And uh, let's see, verse 10, it says, And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. All right, so they're deceived, all right? They're deceived uh, in their unrighteousness because the Lord <clears throat> doesn't want them to be saved. So they're not going to receive the love of the truth. For Verse 11, For this cause, Yahweh shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. All right, most of our people, they into all kind of wickedness, all kind of nonsense. 
these scriptures. All right, they're a sanctuary for the elect, which were of the hopeful elect. Lord will we be at that number. All right, and they're very plain and clear and easy for us to understand. But for the wicked of our people, these, this is a trap. All right, the Lord has given a strong delusion. Uh, verse, I'm going to read the Second Thessalonians 2 and 11. Once again, it says, And for this cause, yet how is shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not in the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. All right, so they, have, they take pleasure in their wickedness. Remember, we read that earlier, okay, Isaiah 66 and 4. Okay, that day, that day, they chose the things that were not pleasing unto the Lord. So now he's got them stuck on that two-third wicked mindset all right, because he has a desire to destroy them. Let's get uh, Isaiah 29 and 13 in the Good News Translation. All right. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13 in the Good News Translation. It says, the Lord said, these people claim to worship me, but their words are meaningless and their hearts are somewhere else. Their religion is nothing but human rules and traditions, which they have simply memorized. Okay, that's, that's, that describes a lot of these people very well. All right. Their religion, it says, is nothing but human rules and traditions. And we all grew up here in different things. All right. Different lies that. That the uh, Christians and Catholic Church perpetuated. All right, this is this is it. Okay, this is exactly what it's talking about here. Like we're we like so, I mean especially with these holidays, man. We got we got Christmas coming up. They tell you that that the Savior's birthday was sometime in the in the dead of winter, which that doesn't make any sense. It says that his birthday is sometime around the Passover, which is always in the spring. All right, uh, they talk, of course the obvious lies. They told you that that he was an Edomite. You know, that he had long, stringy hair and blue eyes. They told you that he loves everybody. All right, these are just traditions and commandments of men. All right, see, the, the, the people of the world, they want everybody to be one people and all this. But what, what did the Lord say? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. He said, Thou art a holy people to, unto me above all the people on the face of the earth. So, you know, the, the words of the Lord are not going to be pleasing to the people of the world. And the people of the world, they would rather... They would rather, you know, disguise their man-made religion and their traditions as if they're worshiping the Most High. But the, more, the Most High is calling them out. All right. Let's get that again. Isaiah 29 and 13 in the Good News Translation. The Lord has spoken. He has said, these people claim to worship me, but their words are meaningless and their hearts are somewhere else. Their religion is nothing but human rules and traditions, which they have simply memorized. All right. So once again, it describes these people to a T. But see, the elect of the nation of Israel, okay, which consists of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, it's not going to be having that mindset. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 20. They're going to tell you the characteristics of the elect. So like you, bear with me. All right. I'm going to close out real soon. Jeremiah 50 and 20. And it reads, in those days and in that time, which is where in that time now, saith the Lord, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for, and there shall be none, and the sins of Judah, and they shall not be found. For I will pardon them whom I reserve. All right, so this is speaking of the elect. Okay, the Lord said he's going to pardon the sins of the elect. All right, and he's also going to cleanse and sanctify their hearts. All right, we're going to get that next and close out with that. Zephaniah chapter 3. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 13. And it reads, The remnant of Israel, the remnant, the elect, those that are escaped, shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. All right, so we're not going to adhere to the, the, the uh, Babylonian philosophies and the lies that the people of the world love to adhere to. It says, the remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. All right, for they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. All right, so the remnant, okay, they're not going to be like the rebellious of the people. As it says, a righteous man is more excellent than his neighbor. 
but the ways of the wicked seduce him. All right, the remnant is not even going to be seduced. The remnant is not going to speak not speak lies, nor shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, and they shall not do iniquity. All right, so Lord willing, this was edifying. That's all I got for you guys tonight. Lord willing, this is edifying. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Until next time, and this has been, this has been something to the effect of, y'all with a rebellious spirit, the Lord is going to destroy you. Shalom.